Public notice is hereby given that His Excellency the Governor has instructed the Honorable Colonel Gold, commanding Her Majesty's forces, to take possession without delay of the land at Waitara sold to the Crown by Tetera. Marauders, whether European or native, injuring the person or property of any individual will be dealt with in such a manner as a court-martial shall think proper. The town of Waitara, 16 kilometres north of New Plymouth, stands in an area that has been the site of many bloody battles over the centuries. In 1921, a large war party of Waikato warriors arrived in northern Taranaki, but found it tough going. They were offered refuge by the people of Pukirangiora at their pa, or fortified village, about eight kilometres from the mouth of the Waitara River. However, once the Waikato warriors were inside the pa, warriors from Taranaki's Tiatiawa tribe built palisades around a section of the pa, trapping a thousand Waikato warriors inside what became known as Raine Powaka, the pig pen. The Waikato men were trapped for over seven months before a fleet-footed warrior escaped and ran 120 kilometres north in less than two days to raise the alarm. Waikato chief Te Whero Whero then assembled thousands of men and headed south. The siege was eventually broken, though the Waikato tribes suffered heavy casualties. Ten years later, in 1831, a massive war party of around 2,000 Waikato warriors, well armed with muskets, returned. Nearly 4,000 Tiatiawa men, women and children took refuge at Pukirangiora Pa, the very place that the Taranaki tribe had previously held many Waikato warriors captive. Food inside the Pa soon ran out, and the trapped Tiatiawa people tried to break out in broad daylight. Over a thousand were believed to be slaughtered, with many bodies being cooked and eaten by the victors. Rather than be captured by the enemy, some Tiatiawa women chose to throw themselves and their children off the cliff at Pukirangiora and onto the riverbed 100 metres below. The arrival of the Europeans saw more bloodshed at Waitara. In 1860, conflict over the Waitara Purchase, where the government tried to acquire land from its Tiatiawa owners, began the Taranaki War, the first of the New Zealand Wars. Aware that a substantial group of Tiatiawa had occupied Pukirangiora Pa, the commander of the colonial forces, General Thomas Pratt, began a slow march up the Waitara River towards it. Pratt dug a long trench towards the Pa, building redoubts along the way. Despite Tiatiawa sniper fire, the trench gradually inched closer to the Pa. However, just as Pratt's force was ready to attack, negotiations between Tiatiawa and the colonial government brought the Taranaki War to an end. Though Tiatiawa did not get their land back. Today, a section of Pratt's long trench can still be seen at the Pukirangiora Reserve, eight kilometres along Waitara Road. Bullets can sometimes still be found in the soil around the reserve. During the 19th century, as more and more Māori land was taken, and the deadly effects of new European diseases spread, the Māori population declined. Early in the 20th century, a new generation of young Māori leaders sought to improve the plight of their people by working within the political system. The young Māori party included Sumaui Pōmare, who was from Waitara. Pōmare did much to improve Māori public health in his two decades as a cabinet minister, and he is remembered at Waitara's Owe Marae, by a magnificent carved meeting house built in 1936. A marble statue of him stands beside it. Another member of the young Māori party was the North Taranaki leader Te Rangi Hiroa, better known as Sir Peter Buck. Hiroa had a distinguished military career and became a world authority on Polynesian anthropology. Buck is remembered by a concrete canoe prow that juts out of a hillside at Ōtoki Pa, 34 kilometres north of New Plymouth. <laughs>